Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix IRQL not less or equal error in Windows 11 and Windows 10. Stop code IRQL not less or equal is a blue screen error. Basically, this can occur due to new hardware or third party software that is not compatible with your Windows device. Also, it can happen because of external hardware, improper configuration, corrupted device drivers, and incompatible PC component such as video card. However, here I'll show you 5 fixes that can surely help to fix stop code IRQL not less or equal error in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So let's get started. Uninstall third party software because sometimes third party software can cause blue screen errors. To perform this operation, first you need to enter the Windows recovery environment, which is known as WinRE. Now listen very carefully and then apply. To enter the WinRE, hold down the power button for 10 seconds to shut down your device. Now press the power button again to turn on your device and when it will show the manufacturer logo or windows logo then hold down the power button for 10 seconds to shut down your device again. Repeat this procedure 3 times to enter in windows recovery environment. Now simply press the power button again to turn on your device. Now it will take you to Windows recovery environment. Click on advanced option. Ok, once you enter in WinRE, select troubleshoot then advanced option select startup settings then click restart after your device restarts press 5 or press f5 key for save mode with networking Once your device is in safe mode, click on settings. After that, click on apps and features. Now you need to uninstall the third party software from your computer. After you uninstall the third party software, restart your device to check if the problem is fixed or not. If you are still facing a blue screen error, go to Windows Safe Mode by following the previous method. Once you enter in Windows Safe Mode, then right click on windows start and click on device manager now you need to uninstall that third party device driver that are causing blue screen error select delete the driver software for this device and click uninstall to confirm now you may have to restart your device to complete the uninstall process. After that, check once if the problem is solved or not. If not solved, then go to Windows recovery mode by following the previous method. Once you enter in WinRE, select troubleshoot. Then advanced option. After that, click on system restore. 
Now click on next. Note, Windows every time creates a system restore point when Windows install and update driver or applications. So you can use that system restore point to restore your Windows settings to previous status. Note, this solution is not effective if the Windows system protection is turned off and if you have not created a system restore point earlier. Now select your recently created system restore point and click on next to perform system restore. Keep patience until the restore process is finishes. After that, restart your computer. Hopefully, your problem will be solved. Sometimes, an external device can be caused of blue screen error, which is happened in my case. This is an external boot disk and when I kept connected this boot disk to my laptop during boot from my laptop's default boot disk then I got BSOD and only shows the BSOD when the drive is connected. So in that case you need to unplug any external storage device and drives, docks and other hardware plug into your device that is not needed or that are causing blue screen error. After unplugging your external device, restart your computer to check the problem is solved or not. In order to fix the problem, you will need a Windows bootable USB drive. If you don't have a Windows bootable USB drive, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Now insert your Windows bootable USB drive to your computer's USB port and restart your computer. And go to your PC's BIOS or boot manager to boot from that. Once you reach the Windows installation page, click on next button. After that, click on repair your computer. Well, once you reach the Windows recovery environment, click on troubleshoot. And then command prompt. Now type bcd edit and press enter. Now you need to find out your OS drive letter. As you can see my OS drive letter is J. Now type sfc space for a slash scan now space for slash of booter equals to your OS drive letter colon backward slash space for slash of winter equals to your OS drive letter colon backward slash your system root path location. Note, maintain the same format 
as it is showing on the system root path location. Now press enter to execute the operation. And keep patience, don't close this scan and repair process until it's completed. Alright, after completing the process, as you can see the status, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. Or if you see, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them, then no problem. Now exit from the command prompt and turn off your system. And remove your Windows bootable USB drive from your computer's USB port. And then turn your PC back on. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.